keeps on talking and I don't like it. Oh, now I've talked it into my knickers. I'm classy, Laura. Real classy. Hey guys, for today's video, we're going to be talking about my current makeup favourites. Not for any reason in particular, not like spring favourites, or I suppose it's almost summer now, would you believe. Nothing in particular like that, just the products that I find these past couple of weeks, months, that I have been constantly, continually reaching for, why I like them, and that is it. I don't know why I try and explain things so much. That's what we're doing, current makeup favourites. Let's get going. This is going to come as no surprise because I think I've spoken about this far too much. I don't even know why I've included it because it's just a given. It is the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Fatur Fatug? What is Fatug? Fatigue Blur Makeup Primer. <laughs> I absolutely love this stuff. It was in my favourites last month. It has probably been in my favourites a lot. It's probably been in a lot of my get ready with me videos or favourite product videos. I love this stuff. It is amazing. It's a pigmented makeup primer. I love this. It is, it says it's warm apricot, but it's more of like a really muted peachy tone. It is brilliant. It is not silicone based. If you've been here for a while, you will know that I don't, I have a sort of a love hate relationship with silicone based primers. This is not this. This is a gel based. It is amazing. It makes my skin look like I'm wearing makeup even though I'm not. I suffer quite badly with pigmentation issues on my face. I have like red blotches here and recently brown blotches in places. This clears everything. It just smooths everything, makes everything more even. It does down the red tones, it does down the brown tones. It just makes everything clear. And, and it is a really good makeup base as well because they don't like silicone base because it is gel it seems for me personally I prefer to put my foundation on over a gel be careful gel primer because I think it just blends everything much better and smooths everything out much better and it sort of helps dissolve like your makeup feels like it dissolves into it not dissolves that's the wrong word melts it feels like your face like your Facebook the foundation sort of melts into the primer and then just sits on your face. I'm not describing it well, but it is amazing. I absolutely love this. I think this is $6.99 or $7.99. I'm not entirely sure, but I love it. I currently have two favorite foundations. One, just like the last one, isn't gonna come as a surprise. I have talked about this product ever since I bought it, about how much I freaking love it. It was not a surprise it was gonna be in here. This is the Bourjois 123 Perfect CC Cream. You're probably getting sick of me talking about this product now, but it is hands down one of the best foundations I've ever used. And it's not even a foundation, it's a CC cream. It is amazing. It is a colour correcting one, so it's got apricot green and white in it. And oh my god, it is, for a CC cream, it works just like a foundation. It is really, really goodly pigmented. It gives really, really good coverage. Like, I can't believe how amazing it is. I use this far too much than I probably should but it is so good it lasts all day it covers everything I wanted to cover but still looking natural I don't like that I'm wearing makeup look I like everything to still look natural and fresh and clean and I get this from this product I freaking love it I can't tell you how good this is if you're looking for something that is easy to apply apply affordable lasts all day makes you look like your skin is glowing beautiful bourgeois cc cream is amazing the color shade selection is a little bit odd mine is in beige claire why i'm in beige i don't know but it matches my skin tone perfectly i love this thing just be aware about the shade selection make sure you really try them on in the store first because I'm quite a difficult finding my shade in this. My other foundation favourite at the moment is something I think everybody talks about. This is the Rimmel Wake Me Up foundation. I didn't use this for a long time. I started using it again a couple months ago and cannot stop using it. I love it. I remember now why I love it so much. I kind of started using other things and now I've gone back to this. It's like, oh, where have you been? Where have you been? I've missed you. This stuff is amazing. It gives you a really good coverage. I'm actually wearing it today. So hopefully my makeup looks okay. This is what I've put on this morning before I filmed. 
it gives really good coverage, it's got really good staying power, it brightens the face, I'm not sure how but it does, it feels like it's got highlighter in it, it hasn't but it feels like it does, it gives you that really glowy dewy look so if you don't like dewy foundations I would stay away from it, they're not my favourite either but I don't find that this is too bad, it's, as long as you like put powder over the top it's okay. It's brilliant, I love it. Again, like the last one, the shade selection is a bit weird. This is in ivory, which I think is quite, it's quite dark for an ivory. That's, I don't know why, but yeah, again, just be wary of the shade selection on this. I love it. I can't believe I forgot about how much I loved it. Highly, highly recommend. Again, just like everything in this video. Like two concealers that I've been completely in love with lately. The first one is, I think it's Maybelline. I can see an M. This is the Maybelline Dream Lumi Touch Concealer. I've not used like brush concealers before, like this, but I absolutely love it. I got this in the shade uh, Ivory. There you go, I think this was the lightest one they did. I always get a lighter shade for under my eyes than my skin tone. But because my foundation is ivory, most of the time my concealer is the same. This is amazing. It is so brightening. It's like, you have to be careful how much you apply. It's so bright. That was just the post. You have to be careful how much you apply because it's so bright. And I actually use this as a highlighter as well, sometimes as well, so I will bring it down a bit and do it a little bit up here. And it works great as a highlighter. It is creamy, it is thick, but blends really well. It is really easily blendable. You can use a brush, a sponge, a finger, anything. It blends so well. It covers any darkness, any brown, any red, anything that is under your eyes. It will cover beautifully leaving you look really awake and bright and it's just really nice. I really like it. This was quite expensive. Not really, but for me it was. I think it was like 7 99 I might just be lying there. I feel like this was quite expensive. The other concealer that I've fallen back in love with, just like the Wake Mac Foundation, I've had this for a while, but fallen completely back in love with it, is the Soap and Glory Kick-Ass Concealer. I got this a while ago, never really liked it, but recently I've just fallen in love with it. I've used this this morning under my eyes and was just like, wow, every time I use it, wow, it's amazing. This comes with a translucent setting powder on the top and it actually comes with two shades. This one I don't really like very much. This one is for covering up spots and blemishes. I don't really like this. I don't like the colour of it or the way it blends or anything like that. This shade here, however, for under your eyes is... Uh, yeah? Alright, I'll be down in a sec. Do you yes, please. Yeah. This one, however, is amazing. It is really light. It is really creamy. It's not thick, but highly, highly pigmented. It's... You can watch it. Watch your darkness just completely disappear underneath it. I use my finger to apply this because it is a cream concealer. I don't feel it doesn't blend too well with a sponge for me. But using your finger works perfectly. You literally just like oh and just like the Maybelline it brightens, it makes your whole face look different, it covers everything, it lasts. You must make sure that you have to set this one though because it does have a tendency to crease if you don't set it with the translucent powder. It doesn't have to be the Soap and Glory one. I don't even think it has to be translucent powder. I imagine like normal powder would work too. But I do like that this comes with the translucent powder on the top, which I do love, which I'm actually going to talk about next, but a different type. So yeah, I love this. Definitely worth the money for this. Talking of translucent powder, that's how I followed that on. This is the Soap and Glory One Heck of a Blot translucent powder. I love this stuff. Like. Don't be broken, don't be broken. Don't be broken, don't be broken. As I was saying, I had a little heart attack then. I love this stuff. I love that there's one in here and one in here. This is a bit more peachy toned 
than the other one, but that might be because I've used it quite a lot. Translucent powder for me is amazing. I don't, normal powder, I will use it, but I don't really like how it makes my face look. I feel like it looks a bit cakey, a bit like I've got too much makeup on. This stuff is amazing. You wouldn't even know it was on your face. It, really you chase some flies, it set, not only sets your makeup perfectly so it doesn't move all day, if for days like today where I'm wearing a foundation where I don't quite like the dewy finish, this makes everything matte and I love that it does that. It's like a product used for all different things. I use it to set my concealer under my eyes and to set my entire makeup and you can't tell that it's even there. You can see it when you're putting it on, you can see the difference. It's like smooths out all of, all of your makeup so any little bits I put personally I think sometimes you can put foundation on and it's stipply a little bit like as it sets into all your grooves this like gets inside all them little bits that your foundation hasn't re reached or has sunken in a little bit and just smooths everything out wonderfully again not the cheapest but definitely recommend. It is really, really good. It's all over my hand. A couple more things left to talk about. This isn't like all of the makeup that I use because this stuff that isn't my like absolute favorite. So I haven't got lots of stuff, but anyway, there was that. I have got two Ico products. These are both from Birchbox. So the first one is the Ico Black Magic Mascara. That's why I really like this tube that it come in. I've never seen mascara come like this before. I love this stuff. I got it, I think, in my April Birch box maybe. Oh, it's got a really weird spoolie on it. Ooh. There we go. This stuff is really good. I've got this on today. I've done this, planned this quite well really, haven't I? I've got this on today. It is lengthening, it is darkening thickening maybe the word lengthening thickening it is very pigment pigmented pigmented it adds really nice like flick and flare and it lasts all day as well sometimes i find sometimes mascaras for me at least transfer quite a lot underneath my eyes this doesn't this stays in place all day and i really really like it i can't talk too much about it because it's just mascara and i think that's all you need to know but it's really good i really like it the other Ico product that I have, you've seen me use before in videos and I've spoken about it before in videos, this is the Ico Fat Liquid Eyeliner in Black. Oh, I love this. I love this. I love it because it's a pen. That's why I love it, I think. This stuff makes doing your eyeliner so easy. We know I'm not very good at it yet. I'm still practicing doing eyeliner, but this makes it so much easier because it is just a pen. So you can just draw your eyeliner on so easily. It is really pigmented. It has got amazing staying power. I can put this on in the morning and it will still be there every evening when I come to take my makeup off. It does not budge. It is really easy to apply. It goes really well over any type of eyeshadow. Sometimes I think it can be a little bit, not this, sometimes eyeliner can be a little bit. Sometimes I think eyeliner can be a bit funny when it goes over eyeshadow, but this isn't like that at all. It goes on really well. It doesn't pull your eye it's so smooth that it literally just like done and a flick and you're done. I really, really, really like this. I use it far too much, but not today. I have a blush that I want to talk about and this is a bit unusual for me for my channel. Normally I am all about affordability. As I've just said, this is a little bit expensive because it's like $7.99, but I really, really love this product. This is the Benefit Blush in Dandelion. I have just I have got the full size of this, but it's in a drawer somewhere because I got this one in my birch box. So my full size is kept in the drawer and I've been using my sample. I love, love, love this blush. Look at it, it is beautiful. It is a really peachy, neutral, florally, springy tone. There's a lot of words that might not describe it very well to you, but for me, it makes perfect sense. I love this. It's that sort of just flushed shade. So just adds that little bit of colour, that little bit of, oh, I'm just a little bit flushed right now. And that's what I like about my makeup. I like to be as natural as possible. And this stuff, is so soft and so smooth. It's amazing. Like, ooh, I just like like to put my finger in it. 
it just feels so nice and it's just it's just lovely I'm not going to show you because you're not going to be able to see but I love this I know affordability wise it, yeah I'll be down in a sec affordability wise I know I think benefit blushes are about 20 pounds each so they are not the cheapest thing out there but this is amazing I love it so much and yeah it blends really well it applies really well it just does everything that you want from a blush it's my favorite blush ever at the moment it'll probably change in a couple of weeks again and the last thing that I've got to talk about I'm gonna be quick because my food is just cooked but the last thing is the Rimmel Kate Moss matte collection I think it's called lasting finish by Kate Moss lipstick okay I'm sure this is from the matte collection and this is in the shade 45 I don't think it has an actual shade number and it looks like this this is a really I'm gonna say brown lipstick but it's not brown it's somewhere between a brown and a peach tone I don't know if you're even going to be able to see that I've put that there but I'm going to pretend to show you anyway I wasn't too sure when I bought this with being pale I thought it's going to wash me out but it actually looks really really nice on the lips it's an almost a your lips but better but you can tell it's lipstick so it's like somewhere between them if you're just doing a really natural neutral day where you just you know you don't want all of this hassle of keeping on top of bright lips this is really really good they do multiple shades in this this is just the only one that I have it is soft it is creamy for a matte lipstick it's not drying in the slightest which is what I like sometimes matte can be really horrible this isn't like that at all it is smooth it is gloss not glossy glossy is the wrong word but it feels glossy when you apply it and it lasts and I really really like it again not the cheapest type of thing not the I just really like how this feels and I like how it looks and I like how long it lasts and because it's not a bright lipstick it's really muted and a neutral tone you don't have to worry about constantly checking if your lipstick's coming off because you can't really tell when it does so it's really really good I like that and that is it for today's video I'm going to be really quick ending this because I want to go and eat I will try to remember to link all of the products down in the description bar and maybe some links to where you can buy them if I remember and if I can be bothered to be honest and then I check the description bar maybe I've done it maybe I've changed all of a sudden Thank you for watching this video, make sure that you thumbs up and that you subscribe and I'll see you next time.